After a tournament worth of exciting games, here we are. It's time to settle the madness. And it lands in the hands of who else? Kendall Walker. Presented today with the Bob Cousy Award for the outstanding point guard in college basketball. And off the ground. Chased down by Van Zandt. Perhaps the length of Lamb again bothering Mack. Oh, he's got the three. And he had only made one of 13 in the tournament. And he's a 35% three-point shooter coming into the tournament. Oriaki, Smith behind him. In the paint, puts it up. Yes. Side in the far right corner. Connecticut now has missed its last eight shots. Howard, he needs a three. Hasn't had one in Houston. Now he does. And that's huge because UConn's bigs really don't want to stray from the hoop. If Howard can make a couple, it'll open up some of those driving lanes for Shelvin Mack and Van Zandt. Riaki. To try to keep him from getting to the sweet spot on that low block. Mack from the wing. And he, too, can't get that first one to drop. Oriaki with an impressive board. Defy. Driving in, and so well, coming off the bench. Up ahead to Howard, and he's found. Pain and disappointment of coming so close. For Connecticut, for a and Howard. They are trying to get it tonight. In the same movie, they just want a different ending. Walker, off. He had a big game against VCU. He sure did, an 8-0 run. It was huge. Howard. Long rebound to Walker. He takes it inside and draws the foul. He's heading to the line. Daniel, Kimball Walker, who averaged 29, 11 30-point efforts this year. And that's his 43rd free throw attempt in the tournament. That's five games. So a couple here for the junior. These two final four teams. This one go to NCAA.com. Well, I caught the whole Notre Dame game, and Skyler Diggins was fantastic. And I call, gets the right angle and keeps UConn from scoring. That's part of the persistence in their DNA. Um, Steve, I think yeah. they just don't give up. They play through. And if you're UConn, you've kept him away from a field goal to this point. 11 from the field. Damn. How good was he against Brandon Knight? Brandon Knight. Marshall fakes the shot, drives baseline. Ah! Off the front of the Plays well when they're playing poorly. That's right. Here is Butler struggling to score from the field. They're getting off the... Holmes McDaniel. Rondu. You got Mack out, you got Howard out. The two primary scorers for Butler. Well, we saw them play pretty good basketball in the same scenario. Oh, that's the goal. To find anything offensively. And I thought UConn, they were 1 for 12 from the three-point line the other night. 0 for 4. Lead it at 17-16. Rondu back to Gabay. Stuck underneath. Ball squirts out to Beverly. Through traffic. Lost it, but Smith is there. Mack. Yes, with a three. Left hand to hook, and put up too strong, but right back out. They could save it for the final shot of the half. And they will. I like the execution, though. They got Smith on yeah. the smaller booms with Daniel. He just couldn't convert. Yeah, he rusted that thought. Yeah. Five to go. Will Butler have the lead at halftime? Mack with a long range shot. Yes! Butler at the buzzer! I think if you're UConn, the guy you've got to look to is Jeremy Lamb. He was 0 for 2 in the first half, but he showed the ability to shoot over the top of this Butler defense. I think that's their best attack, is to go with Lamb off those screens rather than try to go at those high pick and rolls with Campbell Walker. Stagall chases down his fist three. And again, Butler's only made two, one two-point shot. Oh, look at Stagall. Foul, struggling a little bit, so he merges big. Lamp for two, the cool freshman. To the three-point shot for Chase Stagall. was an Walker over Van Zandt. And third Mac on that shot. Napier, has Smith, underneath. Lost control, and Olander saves it. Feeds Lamb, and here comes Jeremy Lamb. Seems so good in transition defense, Steve. Very rarely do you catch him off balance in that regard. Howard long with a three, and off and running is Walker. Takes the pass, puts out the shot. 
That's the second foul on Howard. Walker at the line. May be there with a championship trophy. Possibly an MLB. But gets it back. Snaps it corner. Stagall fakes the three. Drives on Walker. And that's rejected. Stagall, though, alertly taps it to Moran. To the break, which was his second. Jim, I think that's not saying a lot. Uh, seven for 37 overall for Butler, which is just shocking. And yet this ugly shooting, is it just the setting? Is it the night? Is it the great defense? All Why? Why above. is it like All that? of the above. All of the above, Jim. It's always difficult as you look at the shooting. First half, second half for Butler. When you take a look at the fact that some good shots have been missed, a number of shots have been challenged, and there... Butler has missed its last 11 shots. able to come back out with it. That pass stolen. Lamb on his way. And I feel like UConn has found a couple of things here offensively. Running these baseline screens for Lamb and Walker and then going inside to Oriaki a couple of times as well. Lamb gets it right back. Left to open baseliner and approaching seven minutes without a basket. Since that's the goal three coming out, Morad gives it up. High pick and rolls and the penetration. Is on Defy. And Marshall misses a both. Tapped out to Wardens of Matt Howard being able to pick and pop and make a, a couple of threes uh, to open up this defense. It just has plays down low for a six-footer. Here he is. This time, though, that six-foot stature is exposed. Yep. Blocked by Roscoe Smith. Up ahead, Napier challenging Marshall. This half on his own, nine to six. Well, the way things are going, going to go, feels like a much larger cushion. UConn can really exploit its advantage with Lamb trying to beat the drive. It's the goal. Lamb with on defending bounce pass. Oh, lays it up, and it goes. Unlike some of the other ones they've missed, that had no chance. Matt, maybe he'll get him going right here. No. Ah! And Smith converts it. And a foul on Mack. Basket by Oriaki. And we one. Both of his parents were born in it. While Butler has continued to go through. Or to shoot two. He's made more free throws than any player. Later brought to life in the movie Hoosiers. Lump was a Butler Bulldog after. But uh, UConn unable to convert. You see a lot of holes. You've seen a couple of holes because, again, to your point, Steve, Butler is not typically played this kind of. Been Skyping his younger brother during the tournament to keep up with him. Encourage him. Outside Van Zandt. He's got an open three, and he hits it. Another talent that came out of Houston. So Calhoun's come down here, picked up a couple of gems, both of whom got to go to the final four. Calhoun has picked him up. Five. Yeah, it's 20. Two minutes to go. Step back. Three. Yes. Matt. Come with two minutes to play. Just take care of the ball. You don't even need to shoot. Yep. That's oh. years ago. Man. Work. And his main theme is he talks about attitude, academics, and athletics. And his son came into that locker room with the A game, didn't he? After that time, Mack hits a three. With 1.39 to play, trims it to eight. Nearly a steal. This thing got in the comfort zone for UConn. Is it stolen? Ram-rep defense most of the night by UConn. Van Zant, no. Outside the Napier. He doesn't need to take off with it, and he'll come back out. Wise for the freshman who tosses it over to Walker with a minute to play. Walker sees a seam but comes back out. A Husky team that in desperate games was undefeated on the year. Open with that run in Maui, and they finish finding paradise here in Houston, it looks like. They win the Maui Invitational. They go five for five at the Big East, five days. And then the six-game run through the NCAAs. It's amazing stuff. Back out to land. It sure is, Jim. Antonio in 04. His first was in St. Petersburg in 99.
How about the company that he sits in now? With all time three. All time At least three. three titles. John Wooden, Adolf Rupp. Coach K with Coach four. Coach Bobby Knight. Bob Knight, Bob Knight with Knight. three. Yep. Howard puts up a three. It's back out to Mac. I don't know, the Sinus tonight. I agree with that, they, too. They thought the script, they thought it would be complete tonight. They would have the Hollywood finish that began a year ago at home in Indianapolis, six miles from their campus. But instead, the Huskies shut them down in the second half here in Houston. And the Huskies are the top dog in 2011.